there are 6 videos planned for the first part of my Pokemon Explained series. These take a while to make, but if you find my videos helpful and enjoyable, you can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date as new videos are published. Before watching this video, I strongly recommend you to have a basic understanding of Pokemon base stats first, which you can get by watching the last video. This is because we will be building on top of that foundation in this video as we explore Pokemon IVs together. Pokemon base stats are like the DNA of the Pokemon that determines which species of Pokemon it is. Individual values, on the other hand, are like the DNA that makes each individual Pokemon of a species unique. Base stats have an abstract calculation where we don't really need to know how the numbers function themselves, but instead we use them directly to compare the strengths and weaknesses of various species of Pokemon. Individual values are in comparison a much easier concept to understand. The six stats that make up a Pokemon summary are HP, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. In addition to there being a given base stat for each of these, there is also a dice roll with 32 sides that give each Pokemon some additional stat points. These additional stat points is a part of the range at a given level, as I explained in the last video. If we take 32 to the power of 6, we get 1,073,741,824 different combinations. This reflects how many unique combinations of IVs a Pokemon can have, and thus how many different Pikachu, for example, there can be when we just look at IVs alone. When you capture a Pokemon in the wild, or hatch one from an egg, unless there is some other game mechanic influencing how the dice rolls for the IVs, then you will get a random combination from the 1 billion plus combinations that exist. How IVs work is that this dice with 32 sides, counting from 0 to 31, will give you the number of additional stat points in a Pokemon summary at level 100 as the number rolled with a dice. Let's use an example to further illustrate this point. If we take a look at Frogadier's base stats, we can see that at level 100, the range of its HP is between 218 and 312. The text below states that the minimum stats are calculated with zero EVs, IVs of zero, and with a hindering nature if possible. We can also see that the maximum stats are calculated with 252 EVs, and IVs of 31, and with a beneficial nature if possible. We will explore Pokemon natures in an upcoming episode, but for now, the only thing you need to know is that they never affect the HP stat. If we start at 218 HP for the Frogadier at level 100, this means that it has 0 IVs and 0 EVs. If we roll the dice differently for this Frogadier, 13 for example, we would simply add 13 to 218 and get 231 HP. A Frogadier at level 100 with 13 IVs and 0 EVs will have 231 HP. I will give you a sneak peek of what EVs look like by illustrating the entire range of Frogadier's HP stat at level 100. You can see that the entire range has a difference of 94. This number is put together by the minimum IVs and EVs on the one end, and the maximum IVs and EVs on the other. EVs have a different counting system, but if you divide 252 by 4, you'll get the number 63, which perfectly adds up to 31 to become 94. We can see then that a Frogadier at level 100 with 31 IVs and 252 EVs will have 312 HP. The effect of IVs on a Pokemon's stats scale with its level. The prior example was with a Frogadier's HP at level 100, where we saw the difference between the minimum and the maximum HP stat was 94. If we take a look at Frogadier's HP at level 50, we'll find that the difference between 114 and 161 is the same as 94 divided by 2, which is 47. Since competitive battles happen at level 50, let's take a closer look at how the IVs impact the stats at this level. The maximum number that an IV for a Pokemon stat can be is 31 and this results in 31 extra stat points at level 100. At level 50, however, this effect is cut in half, and so if we have 31 IVs in HP, for example, we will only get 15.5 additional HP stat points. You can't have a half stat point, and the number is rounded down to 15. If we subtract 15 from 47, we will get 32, 
which is the remaining additional stat points a Frogadier's HP get at level 50, if it has 252 EVs in speed. A level 50 Frogadier with 31 IVs and 252 EVs will have 161 HP. By now you're probably wondering how we can check to see the IVs of our Pokemon, and that's what we're going to cover next. The IVs are not directly displayed anywhere by number, but in Generation 7 and onwards, you can unlock the IV Judge feature for your PC, which can be a good help. This feature will give you a text description of where a given stat is in the 6 different ranges between 0 and 31. If the IV of a stat is 27, for example, then it would say, very good. And if the stat is 31, then it will say, best. In Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, get the IV Judge feature for your PC by hatching 20 eggs, and then flying to the battle tree to talk to the fellow on the right of the counter. In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you get the Judge feature by talking to the professor's assistant in the gate between Route 11 and Route 12 after you have registered 30 species of Pokemon in your Pokedex. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, this feature is given to you after you make it to the Pokeball tier in the Battle Tower in Winden. The system of IVs, as I've explained in this video, has been the same way ever since Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. The only change that has happened throughout the years is that before Pokemon Sun and Moon, the IVs could never be changed. Once set by the game, they would stay like that forever. In Pokemon Sun and Moon and onwards, a group of items called Bottle Caps were introduced. These Bottle Caps are used when hyper-training your Pokemon. When your Pokemon reaches level 100, there is a specific in-game location you can go to to hyper-train your Pokemon so long you bring a Bottle Cap or a Gold Bottle Cap with you. The normal Bottle Cap will artificially boost the IVs of a single stat to 31. A Gold Bottle Cap, on the other hand, will artificially boost the IVs of all the stats to 31. Take special notice of the word artificially. The change in IVs is permanent for the individual Pokemon itself, but this change will never be passed down to offspring Pokemon when breeding. When a Pokemon has had its stats hyper-trained, it will say so in its summary. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, this location is by the right-hand side counter in the Battle Tower in Winden. In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the location is inside the daycare in Route 5. And in Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, the location is inside the Hawley Shopping Center. A special thank you goes to Shelby, Flipside, Liquid Divinity, Monoxide, Michael, Select, and Bart for supporting my content creation and community building through a monthly pledge over on patreon.com slash nerth. If you found this video enjoyable or helpful in any way, there are more videos like this in the Pokemon Explained playlist, which you can find on the screen right now. Thank you for watching.